walk up to our room. This is our view. And this is our view, that's right. We have a panoramic overwater bungalow. Let's see, that's not ours. It's the third one right there. Beep. And that's more of the sunrise view. Ice machine, very conveniently located, which I don't think, I think we saw service workers on it the whole week. And more of our view, even cloudy, it's beautiful. Beautiful. And this is our bungalow. Going into it one last time. Bye bye. Well, here we go. Gorgeous. Here's our bathroom. We've packed, but the room's a little dirty. It's 8.15. And we have one of those rain showers, which is awesome. And then a nice clawfoot bathtub where they have left it filled with flowers and done really nice romantic things. For some reason, people in other countries seem to like these showers that are not, or bathrooms that are not that private because that door doesn't even go all the way to the ceiling. Here I am in the mirror. Hello. Our sinks, closet where they provided us robes and slippers that we wore constantly. Didn't even need to bring all the clothes that we brought. Mini bar, a little stereo for us. No coffee pot, but a little hot water pot. Flat screen, sofa, and the awesome legendary coffee table. The glass open to the bottom. Let's see. No fish there right now. But there is a light that you can turn on at nighttime so you can see it. And we got quite a few fish. I mean we were able to see a lot. There's our view. Our bed, which I have to say was one of the most comfortable beds ever. And that goes right into the bathroom but there's an electronic um, screen that comes down. We have a thatched roof. See the woven roof? Pretty cool. Yay, we have air conditioning. I was a little worried that we wouldn't. Nice ceiling fan. You don't even really need the AC because these sliding glass doors open up all the way. And just have one wall completely open. Nelson's feeding his fishies one last time. We keep saying one last time, and he keeps feeding him. Keeps finding new food. It is raining this morning. We had some fruit that we've left because the birds come and eat it, and he left some bread for the birds. Bunch of fish out there. Let's see here. And this is our view. He's feeding the fish right now. I think they're too far away to get good view. I'm going to step back under here so I don't get the lens all wet again. And then so that's the side of the bungalow. And the two lounge chairs that we sat in every day to watch the sunset and the sunrise. And they have a little table here and we took these seat cushions off. In like 15 minutes babe. 15 minutes. Yeah, hopefully they did. I said in 15 minutes. It's way too early. Got 45 minutes, babe. See the coral? All those dark spots are coral. This is behind our bungalow. That's the side of it. Our neighbors, which it's not really, even though you can see them, it's not too bad. And that is the back of the resort. Our view, the stairs that lead down to the platform that we jump right in the water to go snorkeling. And there's fish in there, but they're all over the place. Let's 
see more of our view. Really is gorgeous. And there's the resort up there. Um, that's where we just had breakfast and where we walked from. We just sat right there on that balcony. And we ate people in our spot right now. Jet skis. People's houses are right next to the resort, which is kind of kind of neat. There is sailboats out there in the bay. And we got neighbors that moved in yesterday. And that's their bungalow. Two days. Two days ago. We have a little outdoor shower here that's pretty cool. And then that's right underneath the the bungalow. And right in that spot right there is where the table looks down. And there's Babe. So what do you think, Babe? Bungalow 103. Yeah, me too. Which we're leaving for Bora Bora in 45 minutes. On a plane. On a plane. Say bye, babe. Bye.